guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are heading to a store called Dirt Cheap, which in our area is like a thrift store for like brand new items. They get like a lot of discounted cheap things from Target and other stores. And anyway, we're headed there and I thought to vlog it and let's see what I find. Just so y'all know, so the 788 is the retail price and then you match the code with the percentage off pages, which I'll show later, to see what the discounted price is. getting this bright pink to add to my DIY lava girl costume and it's actually a swimwear top so only a dollar So you just have to be willing to dig, but they have so many nice brands, Target stuff. So I'm going to try these on for my Halloween costume as well, this Wild Fable brand with a little bell bottom. Universal Thread Mom Jeans. Also going to try these on, so it's the all in motion with pockets. It's gonna be seven dollars or maybe even six because I is six and then the end is like crumpled, so maybe this might be better for the Halloween costume because I'll definitely wear these after versus these. I'll probably just wear the one time, but we'll see how they fit. found this there's no price tag on it but I think this cut up would look awesome for his shark boy costume and then this is actually sewn on I can just cut that stitching and this whole patch should come off so if this is cheap enough we might get this to cut it up for his costume subscribe and stick around to see my DIY shark boy and lava girl costumes
We found one. Put it in. Look! And then you can set it up at home and watch TV in it. Oh my gosh, so cute. So we got some plants. This one's 40 originally. Okay guys, so once again, all of my dirt cheap trips, I get so excited because I just saved so much money. I'm gonna do a little haul when I get home, show y'all everything I got and w exactly what I paid for it. I'll even show the receipt total and everything, but it is unreal sometimes, the deals that I get there, especially when you think about these being Target items, like most of them being from Target, these, the prices I pay are just insane. So anyway, I'm super happy with that. I think we're gonna also run into a Goodwill that's right here next to Dirt Cheap. Um, just keep on thrifting. Just kinda see what we see in there, but I'm not sure if we'll actually get anything, but I'll bring y'all along and then also show y'all a haul of everything I just got from Dirt Cheap when we get home. So stay tuned. Unfortunately, when trying this on, we ended up finding a little stain. never seen anything like this a rustic pineapple clock super cool I definitely got lucky finding some really nice boutique-y looking items. I was sold on this one quick. I'm gonna show y'all my Goodwill stuff first just because it's a little bit of a smaller haul. So the first thing I got was this random cutesy little elephant figurine. My mama loves elephants, so I'm starting to try to pick up Christmas things now um, for people just like building their gifts over time I know I'm a little ahead of the game but I just like to keep people in mind so I got this cute little guy for a dollar ninety nine it's not gonna focus oh well a dollar ninety nine and then the only other little like figure type of thing I got was this fish um, aquarium castle and it was 99 cents I know it's a little dinged up but my aquarium my fish aquarium is Disney themed 
So I thought this would be just a cute little addition in there. Like it actually will have a castle now. So that was nice find. I also got this dress. I don't know what brand this is, but I swear I was like, this is freaking like boutique quality. It's, it says mustard seed. And like, you can tell, like just look at the fabric. It's very nice linen and so these are like the shoulders and the sleeves. And then it's like a nice little flowy dress and there are pockets. Like what? And let me see how much this came out to be with the blue tack, with the blue little thing. It was $5.49. And I checked of course for like stains and things, but this is adorable. So that was $5.49. And then, let's see. This one was also $5.49. Just like a nice kind of casual, cute, formal top because I did just get my real estate license. So I'm trying to find like cute, professional, casual clothing. And then I also, this one, because it had like a clear thingy attached to it, it was half off. Wait. Okay, yeah, it was $2.75. It was half off of the original price, which would have been $5.49, but it was $2.74, I mean $2.75. And this was so cute on, like I'm so excited about this. This was adorable. So in total, the two tops, the dress, and the little elephant and fish castle was, it was $17 and some change and I just rounded up to 18. So $18 for all of that. Three pieces of clothing and two random little items. Okay, so now for the dirt cheap haul. Let's see, where is the receipt? I'm gonna tell you in total, and I'll break down everything at the end, but in total, these two large bags full of stuff I'm about to show you was $41.51. So just keep that in mind. As I'm showing you everything, $40 total. I'm gonna start with two little like chinky things we got. This is a little three feet char charging cable. This is usually in like the dollar spot of Target. And it has the three different like, you know, options of charging, that's pretty nice. But also this cord lights up blue when you're charging it. And I actually have gotten one before, so these are really freaking cool, but um, originally it was $5 in the Target dollar spot. So that's the first thing. And then with that from the dollar spot as well, I got these. Oh, it's $3 and it's just two little like mushrooms to paint. I, I saw these and I was just like, my boyfriend and I can just sit and watch a movie and paint each of our little mushrooms as like a cute little date night idea. And then I have plenty of paints myself so we don't have to really use these if we didn't want to. But I just picked this up because that dollar spot, everything ends up being only like 20 cents or something. So this was just a little date night idea. And then the next item, I was not expecting to find this, but I got, we got one of these dollar spot from Target, like little phone TV watchers, which I showed when we were at the store that like you can insert your phone in here and just like have its own little cute retro TV stand to watch. So I got that. And then there was no tag on this when we got it to the register. I realized I could take this, whatever junior fuel is, I could take this off 
and this is actually like super high quality anyway really nice our DIY costumes that I'm working on I'm gonna be lava girl and he's gonna be shark boy so hopefully those turn out awesome because I've just been so excited collecting everything to like piece it all together I thought this looks very like this is a nice gray and then even these white stripes like embellishments are nice but anyway there was no tag on this when I got out to the register and I was like there's no tag like I got it from over there but I'm not sure like how you're gonna bring it up or how much it's gonna be and she had just rung up something else for me for like a dollar and she was just like it'll just be a dollar and I'm like what so I was not expecting that like this nice quality I'm gonna take this off and then for my costume this is actually technically like a swimwear top so it's that like dry fit swim material but it's super bright pink and I was like oh my gosh if I wore this under the t-shirt that I have planned to wear that would look really nice and like bright for lava girls so this was a dollar swimwear was a dollar so I got this for a dollar also to go with my costume and like being practical I decided to choose to get like pink leggings or something that I would maybe wear after my costume as well so it's not just like a one-time wear so this is all in motion brand from Target athletic brand and they you see they have like nice pockets and then at the bottoms it's kind of like rumpled up I don't know like the technical style for that but it's like cute at the bottom and anyway it's like this mauve pink color but this will go great with like all the other pink shades of pink that I have planned for the costume and then also I'll wear this of course after Halloween too so I got those and then the last thing in this bag was when I saw this I could not pass this up and I don't know if I should show this because my sister will probably watch this and this is part of her Christmas gift. So if you're watching this, like, <laughs> Katie, do not, um, please. I'm, I don't know if I should warn her, but then she's gonna like wanna watch it to see what it is. She loves her spoilers. I'll just let it speak for itself. It's Harry Potter, Green God's Bank, with the head goblin. And it was 60% off in the toy section, which when I went to go ring this up, like I did the math, $25, 60% off of that is $10. And let me just say, I got this for less than $10. I'm, I was shocked myself when I got to the register. So much came back way cheaper than what they were advertising in the store. Okay, so for the next bag, I got, this was my most expensive item. I knew it probably would come back that way, but I still thought it was worth it. I got this like faux leather large bag, this like neutral color that will match with everything. I got it for work and also my real estate stuff like going places and then also it's nice that it has this divider but it's like professional and cute and like I can just kind of have all my papers and laptop and everything in this bag um, and then there's also a zipper compartment right there and it's the a new day brand from Target so love this I definitely like needed this and will definitely use this so this was my most expensive thing and I'll break down from the receipt in a second and then the last item are these universal thread target booties 
so cute. So look, remember at the beginning when I told you 4151 for everything. This retails. These boots retail for 39.99. Wow. So just these boots is worth what I paid for everything. And then these are priced like on here it says $15 and in the store it said like on that entire aisle of shoes priced as marked, okay? I get up to the register and I think these ring up as $7. Like you are joking right now. Brand new, like there's the inserts are even in the shoe still. Like this is the one I tried on, but like brand new universal thread. This nice tan neutral color. Like, oh, I'm so excited for fall. I had to get me some, but I was not expecting it to only be $7. Let's do the breakdown. Okay, so disclaimer, I had like this little card that they, you know, seasonal and just randomly like will hand out these cards that have 10 slots on it and every $10 you spend, you get a stamp in one of those slots. And if you fill up all 10 slots, your next purchase, you will have 10% off. I had a full card and I knew like just judging by these like random items like the purse and the boots and like this that I normally don't get on my trips going, I was like, this is definitely gonna be like a bigger trip, so I'm gonna use my card now. I use the 10% off. So every item on my receipt has an additional 10% off of the ring up price, which all of these the ring up prices, unless it says price as marked, it's going to be discounted a lot on top of, you know, retail price. So I also had an additional 10%. This pink mauve legging was for, that's all in motion brand, was $5.40. This, like I said before, the swimwear bright pink Top. It's on, it's actually cropped too. It was one dollar. Oh, sorry. It was not one dollar because of the ten percent off coupon. It was ninety cents. And then she rang this up afterward, and this was ninety cents as well. These two pack of paint mushrooms was twenty three cents. This Apple, Android, and you know, USB-C charger that lights up, 45 cents. This TV phone holder was 81 cents. This Gringa Think Harry Potter pop was $6.75. These boots were $7.16. And then last but not least, the priciest item was $16.20. So that brings the subtotal to $38.79, taxes $2.72 for a grand total of $41.51. In Insane. Okay, so this, just ignore, she rang up something for 45 cents and then had to void it, this black line that you see. But this is the receipt. Good thrifting day. I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog of me thrifting. I'm definitely gonna do more thrift with me, so stay tuned and stick around. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did, and let me know what your favorite find was down below and what was like 
the most shocking to you. I hope you have a great day and bye-bye.